All right, guys, it's Andrew, and we are out here checking County Line Adventures kayak beaver trip. Probably the last one of the year, just because it was so much work, and uh, none of y'all would come with me when I invited y'all. But I'm not bitter or anything, because I'm going to be out here catching beavers by myself. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take a minute to subscribe. Uh, to the channel and please share it just help us grow um we've done so much and uh we just want to keep it going keep reaching more people um thank you all who have been with us for a little while or since the beginning i'm going to spin around show you what we got here on the first trap and uh if you have to turn the volume down and just watch because of the wind I'm sorry, but it is windy and crazy today. But trap number one, we did well, and uh, we'll show you what we got. All right, we'll just shoot the video like this because uh, there he is in frame. Pretty decent one. Bigger than yesterday, that's for sure. So uh, number two trap is right around the corner here about 20 yards away and that is empty so one for two we got two more to check on this side i brought the magnet around sorry for the sun and the wind guys brought the magnet along we're gonna try to fish that one i dropped out so hopefully it's an exciting day Who else is bringing you live beaver footage of beavers like this? Is anybody? Is there anyone out there on YouTube? That's pretty awesome. I like keeping them alive. You know, they're fresh. We do have to do 24 hour checks here in West Virginia, so it's not too uh, big of a deal, but uh. You know, I think the only issue you possibly run into is theft from people. That's a possibility. And uh, birds of prey, if they want to uh, try to get an easy meal. Relatively easy. Um, I've gotten a couple with holes in them, but different location here hasn't really been an issue. So, anyway, there you go. Beautiful little beaver. I told y'all you needed to come you're gonna listen to me say this in the whole video so you might as well turn it off right now but you're gonna miss a bunch more beaver catches there's number two there's number two Let's see if i can get them out of there get you a little bit of you, but three traps two catches So, right there's a caster mound they already had. I just took that stick on top there, put some lure on it, and did it the trap right down there. Give them plenty of cable to run with. And you can see them right down there. So, I don't know. I do this, give them 10, 12 foot of cable. You know, I think it gives them they can move away from the trap site and go and hang out where they feel comfortable. He's over there hanging over in those uh, bushes. So I think it's a good method. I don't really see many other people doing it. You get in and out on this stuff. Carry that cable, stake it to a tree. It's pretty simple. So, you know, I think I'm going to go 330s next year. If I can afford a dozen of them, that would be nice. And, uh, do some rebar drain rods and stuff would be cool but uh this is working so you know economy beaver trapping it's working number two 
Let me get up on the bank here. I'll get you a better video. I think these animals are way too cool not to not to get a good video of a live video. That awesome. Number two on the day. Let's hope for a bunch more. All right, guys. I said, why even get back in the kayak? Um, here's where our fall happened yesterday. Run the band in long. We're gonna try to get that trap, but I don't know. Let's call that a double. Trap number four. Beaver number three on the day biggest one of the day we'll take the magnet through here try to get that look at this guy unstinking oh, real that hoss look at that he's thick back there isn't he seriously guys will any of you listen to me come beaver trapping with me Three for four. I could have used your kayak to throw some beavers on. <laughs> there we go. That's already, we've checked four traps and we're already at a personal best and we have nine traps left. So, hey, you can't beat this. Stay long for the ride. Now I've been giving you all a bunch of crap, but y'all deserve it, so. All right, so I got him dispatched and you know, wait. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this magnet right along here and see what I can find. It should be right in here. I just ran on a piece of airplane, so I won't bore you with all those details, but I'll show you. Should be able to find it. It's right in this general area. So, all right, give me a minute, all right, guys. I'm dragging across the bottom there. I felt it hit, so I'm pretty sure that's what we got. Yep. That's it. There we go. There's a Duke number four. The shame, the shame on this is here's where I set up. I put that stick right there. There's a major uh, slide they're using. Um, then when I went further up there, so I had one right out of the box. Um, it wouldn't set. Something's been on it, or I don't know. If it was, I don't know what was wrong with it. But so this would have been five, and at six, one of the plan was to put six in here. And all, all reality, the way I went three for four with the traps in here. I hear ladies. Um. I mean, I could have been four for six, five for six. That would have been wild. But we're happy with the three and get him out of here. Uh, kayak's getting heavier. So uh, I might have to go back to the truck. I don't know. So, all right, at least we found the trap. We got biggest beaver here in a little bit. So stick with me, guys. But wait, there's more. That's the tenth one on the year, guys. I don't even think I've run 30 traps yet for beaver. So, I mean, we're hanging out somewhere around 33% uh, catch rate. So, for someone who don't know what they're doing, it's working out pretty well. Nine more traps to check. I told Daniel I was hoping for three. I think he told me 12. <laughs> So we're already at three, nine more to check. I mean, five is probably a good good guess now. So I might get back on here and tell you three's it, but what a beautiful beaver. What a beautiful beaver. All right, guys, first one down on this side's empty, but uh, it's amazing how they will grab anything that's ran up here. There's like a fishing lure. Here, I pulled this out. There's an old head to a decoy. So, pretty cool. 
You guys are crazy. Well, we're over here in the wind now. You can't bat 750 forever. Three for four. I wish things would have worked out better. Sorry about this wind. I'll talk more later. Um, but yeah, 0 for 9 on uh, the other location. So that's where we've gotten pretty much all the beavers at prior to this. So, you know, I guess they were probably hit pretty hard. So. Anyway, I got a loaded down kayak. I'll swing around, show you a shot of that. Um, definitely over the 300 pound mark once you put my uh, 200 pounds of loveliness in there. So, but we'll work her back to the truck and uh, it was a good day. And uh, yeah, I miscounted. We had seven um, in the early season when we caught the little one there yesterday. It was eight, and then three today is 11. I said that big one was number 10. It was actually number 11. So, anyway, all in all, it's a good day. Y'all missed out on it. If uh, you're outside of my local area, hey, thanks for watching. At least someone uh, paid attention. So. We'll probably weigh them later when we get home we get back to the truck i'll try to get a picture of all three together and uh guys just thanks for coming on this journey it was a awesome experience didn't get quite the way i wanted but we got got out safe we got four beavers for uh, this dinner and uh hopefully we can turn up in something good and uh it's enjoyed there later in the month so well there's one two is the rest of the bait i think the true miracle is gonna be if i don't uh, sink this thing on the way back there but look at that guy stinking hoss um i'm guessing 40 I might go 42 43 i don't know but all right let me get you up out of this wind all right guys if you were watching this you might be an experienced trapper already but if you're not, if you're something else, if there's anything in life that you want to learn, put in the time and do it. It's great when you have someone to teach you, but you can find the videos on YouTube. It's great when someone can come and do it with you. It makes it more enjoyable, but sometimes you got to do it by yourself. And I've been out here doing a lot of this by myself. And, uh, you know. I'm a year into this. I'm proud of what I've been able to learn, what I've been able to do, what I've been able to catch. And uh, 11 beavers on probably, I'd have to add up. That's probably 40 sets, basically. So, I mean, but anything, if you're catching anything at 20, 25%, um, 20, 25% catch rate, and you know, you're doing very well. So, I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to do it. Thank the Lord for giving me the good health, giving me the safety, even when things go weird and you flip a kayak because you got to get on off it 30 times check these traps appreciative of how everything's going and you guys uh sticking around not just on the shorts and stuff like that but on these long format videos i appreciate it thank you guys maybe i want to see what we caught so all right, you're recording? All right, the camera lady, we thought she was recording, but she wasn't, so we did the reveal and it didn't get recorded. So, there's the three beavers. Very exciting. Everyone is uh, cold, so. All right, we'll be making these for dinner there in two weeks. And uh, anyone have anything to say? This one's named Bali. That's a wild game dinner. Alright. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.